look as handsome as yesterday. Right? Can you give it up for a handsome groom right now? Many of you may not know, my name is Manita, aka Deeds. Um, Randy and Cam, I want to wish you both a wonderful married life together. Rand, I can't believe we're finally here. Randy and I have been, have grown up with each other. He gave me the title of Didi, and since then my name has been stuck as Didi, not Vanita, as you many of you have heard. I have been so annoyed with Randy, the amount of spreadsheets the amount of text, all is worth it just to see the happiness on both of your faces. Randy and Cam, be good to each other, love each other, and just enjoy every moment because it goes by so quickly. I love you both. Thank you. Good evening, no longer than Vanitas. Um, I'm gonna try my best not to cry, right? but if I cry, you need to cry with me because I promise Cam, at one point, you will cry throughout this wedding. Um, so first, I would like to welcome all of you to one of the first of many events to celebrate both Randy and Tom. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Renita, this is my sister, and we're both Randy's cousins. Um, same difference. So this speech was probably the easiest thing I had to do to prep for this wedding, but still anxiety driven because Randy absolutely did not give me enough time to prepare. Randy's lack of response and lack of attention to me during his planning days caused me so much anxiety that I had to go and see a therapist myself. <laughs> but I'm really so excited to see both of you your hard work come to life in these next few days. All those stressful days and sleepless nights have been so worth it. I'll start off by sharing a little bit about my relationship with Randy. This is where I may cry. He's the brother that I never had. He's been and continues to be one of my bestest friends growing up and still is until this day. Randy and I have grown up in the same home with our siblings. We've experienced the fights, the laughs, the tears, the drunk nights, the annoyance, you name it, we've been through it. Randy has always been there for me, no matter the day or time, except for my birthdays, when he'd miss it every single year for one of his friends. Don't know who you are, but I'm sure you're in here somewhere. Mike? Whoever Mike is, you've taken Randy away from me for all of my birthdays since he's met you. Oh, right over there. <laughs> But I have forgiven him as time passed by. No matter what I needed, big or small, he's always been there. Being the eldest grandson, Randy had many responsibilities and many little ones to pave the path for, in which he did an amazing job. And I'm so blessed to have a brother like you. When Randy first told me about Com, we were decorating for my first year's birthday. And my first question was, okay, but is she the one? Because I don't want to hear it. And he instantly blushed and just rubbed it off like it was nothing. He said, we'll see, taking it one step at a time, you know, here we are. When he announced his plans to marry Kam, you could see the glow in his face. I wanted to shed a tear, but I couldn't because I had a full face of makeup on. After my sister got married, the pressure was absolutely on Randy to get married next. But Randy had a checklist, and he didn't want me to talk about this, but we're going to. Um, of what he wanted in a girl. Brown, respectful, she needed to be Hindu because he wanted to please everyone in the family. Smart, beautiful, but most of all, she needed to be short, even with heels on. We tease him all the time and say good luck since he's already short as it is. But as everyone knows, Kam checks off everything on this list and much 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 more after meeting calm we saw so much of randy in her seriously a perfect match the missing piece to each other's puzzle i could go on and on and talk for the rest of the night about randy but i won't that's randy's job as we all know calm because of randy's ability to protect and care for those around him i know with all of my heart you're in amazing hands 
I know he'll cherish every second spent with you. He'll make sure you're never hurting, protect you from the things you fear. If you ever are in need of facts, his brains are filled with them. Even today, he gave his mom a lesson on decision making and told her where the book was in case she needed it. If you ever want a tiny explanation of something, expect an essay. I know that Randy would do anything in this world for you except take you to Starbucks because he didn't do that for you. Don't ever expect that. All jokes aside, I know he'll continue to love you with every bit of his huge heart. I wish you both so much love and so much happiness for a lifetime. Randy, I love you so much, and I'm so beyond happy for you and excited for both of you to start this new chapter in your life. Now that you're taking this next step in your life, we will all miss you so much at home, but we could not be any more proud of you. You found your soulmate, soulmate your partner, your forever and always, but this also puts pressure on Andy and I to step our game up. Come, we can't wait to officially welcome you into our home and family. We love you both. Everlasting love, never ending happiness, a month that they wish for. I've been singing this song for all the nephews, all the cousins, everybody with it. So here you go, come. This one is for you. I've seen the snow cut mountains of Alaska. I've gazed along the rangers of Peru. I've seen the world in all its seven wonders, but I've never seen a wonder like you. I've gazed upon the pyramids of Egypt, far away across the ocean blue. I've seen the island buildings of Hawaii, but I've never seen a beauty here is not a place I didn't see. Now that my travels are over, I wish you had been there with me. I've seen the pretty dancing girl of Zion, the happy Polynesian people too. But we are not as happy as we are, because they haven't got to wonder like you, no, we haven't got a wonder like Kamini and Randy. Thank you so much. And I shortened the song, so I made it first. And uh, come together somewhere. But the most important thing is that they are together. Uh, so, Randy and I, uh, we go way, way back. Uh, that table basically comprises Randy's uh, college friends. Most of us were on the same floor, uh, freshman year. I was uh, the roommate next door, but Randy being from New York was super loud, and it would, you know, he might as well have been in my dorm. Uh, and that's how we, uh, we first crossed paths. Over the years, I've known Randy to be quite an amazing individual, as most of you know. Being a car fanatic, usually I associate people's personalities to different types of cars. For Randy, I think he is, a, you know, a Ford F-150, who's built very tough. Some of you might disagree because you're probably like, "Yo, come on, now, I could, I could pick up Randy." Uh, but <laughs> I wasn't talking about the Ford F-150 in terms of how uh, strong the vehicle is physically. It's uh, Randy's ability to really love beyond a standard measure. His ability to be there, to sacrifice, and to support his family and his friends is beyond anything that I've seen from any other individual. And um, I've been a recipient of it, and I've been grateful to have Randy as a brother uh, to support me through my life. Uh, as we've been together for what, 14, 15 years, and it's quite exceptional. So that's why, in my mind, Randy is a Ford F-150. Um, on other note, honestly, I never thought I'd see the day where Randy would love somebody more than Derek Jeter and the Yankees. Um, I was pretty sure he was just going to be married to the Yankees the rest of his life, but thank God, 
company has come into his life and he has a new found love. Uh, as much as Randy has been an amazing individual, honestly, when Kam showed up, I was like, wow. There are actually other people who love even more and more deeply. And I was really shocked by Kamani and her strong personality and her very loving and joyful nature. And I'm very, very grateful that God has answered my prayers for Randy. Because the search was tough. It wasn't easy. It took a long time. I know we've all been waiting to be here tonight for many, many years. And very grateful that uh, Kamani came into his life and they are now together uh, in joy. And um, aside from that, I really would like to wish them the best, uh, so I'm sure all of us would, and that we would spend the rest of the days celebrating their amazing union. Thank you. Couple, married couple, which is, less than, which is going to be less than 48 hours from now. The royal couple of the evening, Dr. Kamini that among the four of you who were coming to classes and were very dedicated, Sanjay, yourself, Kam, Kevin, and Karen, the three others got married just not too soon after each other. And you were the one that was left and you are now towing that line. And I want to say that the three of you among the four of you translated so much that you've learned from the East Indian Music Academy that you have become medical professionals and one of you who signed became the attorney. I want to say that myself and Pandajuri, we are very, very proud of Dr. Kamini and her parents, Ben Alia and Bhai Krishna and the entire family, all the sisters, Bahen Nadia, Mindra, Bahen, and all the rest of the family, to the glory, for having very dedicatedly put years into their children, sending them to the academy three days per week. They were not just coming to play harmonium and sing, but they were coming to learn moral values, virtues, and discipline. And one of the fundamental qualities or values that I saw in our daughter from a very little girl, she was about eight years old, was she was kind, she was caring, she was compassionate, she was loving, and she was very nurturing. I didn't quite know. I didn't quite know that she would have become a doctor, a medical doctor. But what I knew because of her of all the values she had at the time, and because of how curious she was, and because of how really, really a wonderful child she was, I just knew she would have been an exceptionally human being as she grew up. So my dear Kam, you have been an exceptional child since you were little, and I could not, but the and I could not have been anywhere else but to be in this elegant atmosphere, very welcoming atmosphere, beautiful, with all your loved ones celebrating with you through dancing, singing, henna, this wonderful evening. It's out of great joy. I'm happy to say that you've made us so proud of you. Your name has been echoed all over the tri-state area for all that your parents have done for you, for all that we have done to help shape you, we want to say that we wish you and your soon-to-be husband, Randy, my dear son, you're so lucky. You got a fine young, fine young lady, so elegantly dressed, so beautiful inside out, such a wonderful human being. And my dear cop, he had to be an exceptional human being or else you wouldn't have picked him. So give our son Randy a big round of applause for being the lucky young man of this evening. So to both of you, our blessings this evening for both of you is to love one another, cherish each other's values, respect each other, 
look out for each other's families because when you love his family and he loves your family, that's one of the basic, basic fundamentals that's going to make both of you happy. Most of the time when two people get married, they only think about the two of them and their children, the nuclear family. But my dear children, if you will love Randy's family and Randy, if you will love Count's family, everything is going to be made in your lives. With all the education you've gotten and the wonderful training you have received. So having said that, I want to say may God bless both of you. I wish both of you a lifetime filled with love, joy, happiness. And may you come back seven more generations. In, in happiness, harmony, and togetherness. And with that said, I want to just say how happy Pandit Ravi is. Maybe, maybe he should say a few words too. He was a very strict teacher. They could all tell you that. Until now, when Kev sees him or Car sees him, they still say, oh, my Ravi is here. He's that father figure in their life, not just a teacher. So he will say a few words also to you all. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. I accept you, Sanat, and Dharma Kija. Namaste. That was a long LP. You don't have LP long play. So I'm too short. I just want to see come and I wealth and good family. Om Swasti Naindro Vilashrara Swasti Nabhusha Vishwameda Swasti Nakshansho Arashtanemi Swasti no Brihaspati Vedatu Om Sohagya Mastu Om Shubham Babatu Sohagya Mastu Shubham Babatu Shubham Babatu Thank you. Thank you. Family and family. Myself and family, we would like to congratulate Randy on this joyous occasion. We would like to bless you with long life and happiness with your other half that will be joining you tomorrow in the blessed ceremony. We are very happy for you. We waited a while for this moment. And as we were thinking today, the day is here. We bless you with a lot of uh, nieces and nephews. So. Yeah. And we would also like to remember our missing link in our family, who we there he is. Thank you. All right, again, I'm glad, sir. Very much to She gave her blessings uh, for all three of the sisters that has gone by here. Uh, next speaker, uh, one of uh, our friends, Amber. And he asked me to come forward. His friends, and all of his family and friends today and for the rest of this weekend. Uh, if you know Randy, you know he likes to give the speech at every single event he goes to. Wedding, party, casual dinner with friends. But tonight, I get to give the speech. <laughs> all right, so I'll tell you a little bit about our friendship, and that'll say enough. Uh, so... I met Randy about 14 years ago because I joined a frat called APO, and he was my big brother. It's a frat thing, so don't, don't ask me questions. Um, for those of you uh, here who had the pleasure of knowing us then, our friendship involved a lot of dude-flavored three olives vodka, partying in APO's frat house, dealing with Randy thinking he was the king of College Park, and endless make your stomach hurt laughing and joking around. Then we graduated, and much to his dismay, he couldn't get rid of me. Despite me living in DC and him in NYC, he still got daily calls and texts from me. Not saying much, just daily calls and texts. And then I got a job in New York and it was settled. We were gonna be friends for life. When we moved in together to our little Lower East Side apartment, our five-year crazy adventure involved a lot of the same things from college, but now we had money to fuel it. So needless to say, we had some reckless evenings. Our diet also consisted mostly of Hunan chicken from the Chinese takeout down the street. RIP, that place was great. Um, and free beers from all the local bartenders we ended up befriending. 
But that's not what I remember the most about those times. What stands out to me uh, was how Randy always showed up for me. No matter what was going on, he made the effort to be there. Through breakups, job changes, arguments, Randy was always there for me. But that's just who Randy is, the guy who will always show up for you, be there for you, and support you. Incredibly stubborn, yes, but always reliable. Back then, we literally couldn't even imagine what our future partners would be like. I also wasn't sure he was capable of loving anyone more than Yankees number two, Derek Jeter. Uh, but I always knew the girl that locked down Randy would be locking down one of the best men I've ever known. Woo! I had high expectations for Randy's future wife. She had to be as smart as him, kind, able to joke around, and per Randy's requirement, shorter than him. So when Randy introduced me to Calm, I wasn't so sure she'd pass the test. But obviously, for those of us who know Calm, we know not only does she pass every single test she takes, she usually gets extra credit. <clears throat> not only was Calm smart, funny, kind, and yes, shorter than Randy, she possessed the one quality that trumped them all. She knew how to put Randy Prasad in his place. And let me tell you, that ain't something just anyone can do. That takes some godless level woman. And of course, in seeing them together, I saw the deal closer, how much love they share for one another. And I can confirm, Randy does in fact love Calm more than Derek Jeter. <laughs> Believe it or not, Calm is a force to be reckoned with and possesses more strength and kindness than anyone I've ever met. I can't imagine a more perfect partner for Randy I'm so happy you met her, Randy. And if you ever give her a hard time, just know that it's her back I'll have. Girlhood. Uh, congratulations to Randy and Calm, to their love, and to many years of happiness together. In the words of the living legend, Aubrey Graham, or as the commoners know him, Drizzy Drake, I guess this really is God's plan. Congrats, bro. Thank you very much, Alan. Joy with pride and happiness for you. We wish you and Cam a lifetime of happiness, togetherness, and we're also looking forward to build wonderful memories with Cam and you as well. May God bless you, and we love you, and just be happy. We love you. Mwah. Thank you, uh, for Sunita, for Anita. Um, is there anyone else? Uh, Randy is asking if there's anyone of his church would yeah. like to see if you were in church. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to I want to wish you all the best, you and Pam, together. Always uh, a gentleman, growing up, always talkative. Uh, as your friends would uh, say, they don't know how to shut you up, but I do from little. <laughs> The type of person you are. So uh, I'm very happy for you. Uh, may God continue to show His blessings on both of you and uh, Khan and enjoy your happy life. Sit around, everyone, and good night. Uh, what a good surprise that I'm getting here to uh, come up and make a speech. Oh my God. I love this. Um, I promise I'm not gonna cry. The last time I, uh, I, I stood here at this very backyard was uh, us sending Randy off to college and I, I did cry. I'm not gonna look at you right now because I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, how should I start? We both went to the same barber, but he actually survived, as you can see. <laughs> um, uh, what else can I say? Uh, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss you. I know you're gonna spend more time uh, with Calm. I, I respect that. Uh, but I know you're always a phone call away, text away, you know, so uh, I'm gonna, hopefully we'll be able to make those uh, special Sunday arrangements at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, you know what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, but uh, let's, uh, 
move on as far as uh, what life put forward, as far as your future goes. I uh, wish you all the best. Uh, you and Tom. Uh, hopefully, I get to see a lot of uh, grandkids running around the yard here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, congrats. Thank you, uh, Ravi. Um, and finally, you know. As Randy and his friend was saying, that he loved to give speech and love to talk. And he said to me, Panditji, please, can I say something? And I said, yeah, sure, it's your night. You have to say something before we go. So now we listen to Randy. Uh, kind of, I just want to thank you for a wonderful ceremony. Thank you very much for um, blessing our family and preparing me for everything that is to come, um, especially getting married tomorrow. Uh, Thank you for clapping for that. I feel like more people are clapping waiting to talk about grandkids. So, <laughs> thank, you. Um, thank you to the amazing Kirtan group here as well. Thank you very much. You guys are amazing. Anil, who's our family. Thank you very much. Um, just want to thank everyone for um, coming tonight. Um, you know, this has been such uh, a team effort here. Right? Um, the Prasad family was in full force on both sides. And I could not be prouder to um, represent the Prasad family. Um, everyone knows that the Prasad family and everything, and you all mean so much to me. Um, Aji likes to joke around that, um, you know, I, I moved out of this house when I was 18, but she always jokes around, where are you going? Your navel string buried here, right? And she's, she couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, so she is completely true, sorry. Um, uh, this is my home. And um, this house, you know, my mom moved in. We moved into this house. My mom was pregnant with me. And it's given me so many memories. Um, and I'm just very grateful um, that I got to be here and do this with everyone here. Um, you know, I like to joke around that the, the Bronx is the most beautiful place in the world, and that is still true. Um, but also the most beautiful place in the world is my Tony Crick. Give it up for you, Tony Crick. And um, as you all know, um, both of our families are very lucky are from my Tony Crick. And even though I'm first generation like all my cousins, um, the vision and the values of my Coney Crick was brought over here, and those things will never change. So as I sit here and prepare myself for, for marriage, I got to do the same things my parents did, my grandparents did, and that's in, not lost on me, and I'm very um, grateful for that opportunity to be able to do that. So um, thank you to everyone for coming. Uh, looking forward to getting married tomorrow. Um, <laughs> which is gonna be nuts. Can't believe this is happening. Lots of preparation. Thank you for everyone, again, who's done everything. Um, and I don't know where the camera is. Where is it, Com? We are coming for you tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.
313. So we're gonna ask you that you're gonna please come forward and uh, give your blessings to this newly married couple, your children, representing your respective families. So first we're gonna ask the father of the brand new to speak. Let's hear it from the father of the brand new. Happy am I to give her hand 
for me. Not just you. Not just anyone. But this person. Who I, who I love and respect and admire. Just as how I had learned from Kennedy as originally at Central and Mary Road for seven years. I've learned from her and she had learned from me. I've learned much as well for a short time that I have known Wendy. And I'm pretty sure that I will continue to learn as life goes on. Thank you all. Thank you very much. And have a great day.
friends and family members, and I'm overwhelmed. You know, I think about the tumor to them. I never had a room before. 
Randy is the greatest prince that could have entered my life. And our love is indestructible. You can't cut it, fire can't burn it, and it could never die. And I oh no, I don't know what I'm doing, so please chorus. <laughs> Ajari Ajari